Good afternoon all and welcome to another presentation uh, brought to you by connectvk.com.au. Today we're going to guide you through a step-by-step -step instructions on how to upgrade your Nano VNA F uh, to a latest firmware which is 0.2.0 beta. Uh, need to mention that this unit is developed by the fella with the call sign of Bravo Hotel 5 Hotel November Uniform. Uh, please uh, read the description in a link below this video regarding the uh, compatibility of your device with this firmware. Th this is very important. The version 2.0 beta will bring you data storage function, uh, which means that you can save your files and recall them later on for offline analysis. Screenshot function has been um, added for Nano VNA Saver version 0.3.4. LCD backlight adjustments uh, now range from one to 100. The interesting one is uh, definitely the 2.7 gig of range. Okay, so uh, step number one, uh, obviously download the file of the uh, website. Uh, you will find the link for the website in the description below. Once the file is downloaded, extract it to your desktop, select uh, three files as per uh, readme file instructions. Select them and copy, and once copied, prepare your VNA to be connected to a PC. Now, please remember, once again, in order to put your Nano VNA into a disk mode, you would need to hold that middle button while powering your device. You got three buttons on the side for this uh, particular hardware version. So that is the middle, um, or also known as a select button. So you need to hold that down while powering on the device. That will put the device into disk mode. So the device is connected uh, to your PC. It will be shown as every other uh, disk drive. It will pop up in a second day and we'll see it. It's absolutely blank. There's no files in it whatsoever. Well, not none that we can read at this stage. So all you have to do is now paste uh, previously copied files and once that is done that's uh, basically it you've completed the firmware upgrade it sounds a little bit unreal but in reality that that is it there is no uh, there's no further steps uh, you don't need to dismantle the device to in order to um, complete this and uh, and yeah, so um, I'll get on to the screenshots of the device. Remember the hardware version, uh, that is very important. Um, so this is what you're gonna get once you upgrade your firmware. Uh, this is that um, data storage option for the sweeps that you have previously completed. So just disconnected once the files have been copied and then you'll see the green bar across the device uh, indicating the completion of the uh, firmware upgrade. Once the firmware, uh, firmware is upgraded, there's nothing you need to do. The device will restart itself uh, and it's uh, ready to use. And this normally takes, I would say, about 45 seconds um, at the most. All right, so um, in summary, I know that the voice is not synced up to the video, but I think that you get to point um, in terms of the required steps. Very easy, download the file, copy three files to the root of the VNA, restart, and that's it, done. But in saying that, please remember that you're doing this at your own risk and make sure that you check that link in the description below uh, to confirm that this firmware upgrade is compatible with your hardware version. Uh, please remember that this is uh, only for the devices or units uh, developed by our Bravo Hotel 5 Hotel November Uniform and supporting hardware versions 2.3 as well as 3.1. And that concludes uh, our tutorial on how to upgrade this firmware. I hope you um, enjoyed it and liked it. If you do have any suggestions or comments, uh, please uh, um, let us know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Uh, we really appreciate it. It means a lot to us. Okay, um, like always, wishing you all the very best uh, to you and your families and uh, 73s until the next time.